Hello everyone, today we'll be covering the complete lore of the Aura units. This will be everything from how they perform in combat, notes that mention them, info from debug and the code, and finally locations related to them. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. Aura units, Aldrek, Repetu, Arbitu, Replica, more commonly known as Auras, are regular repair and maintenance replicas of the second generation. These units are used as worker bee units for construction, repair, and various building type activities across the empire. They, much like all their sisters, have correlating bird for them, and for them it is the macaw. During the events of the game, the Rs have all been corrupted. These replicas will be hiding in the vents of the facility before emerging from beneath the tiles to attack the player. Rs corrupted form sports inflated puffy arms, a corroded head, as well as a hunched form where the skin on the back has been degraded to expose the muscles, flesh, and spinal structures beneath. Using debug, one can find that Rs sport a measly 30 HP, meaning they have less than the Yules and actually have the least amount of HP in the game. This means that the pistol is the best way to handle them as any stronger weapon will likely be a waste. We can learn more about these units from their replica overview page. They are an all-purpose repair worker, replica, or Macau. They are generation 2 low-cost general purpose units. They have a biomechanical with titanium reinforced shell. They also clock in at 185 centimeters tall. We can also read the rest of this page to learn some more, which reads the following. Tough worker bees of construction and repair industry. One of the earlier replica designs, the simple but efficient Rs are actually the most produced replica type to date. These strong and heavy worker units are a good fit for work in construction and production of industrial goods. In many places throughout our nation, Rs have already replaced all gestalt workers in fields like climaforming and explosive ordnance disposal. We can learn more about the issues these units face from the following document. Even though they might seem like quiet simpletons, do not underestimate Rs. While they do not show it, they judge who, those who are rude or unkind harshly, and will quietly share this judgment with their entire cadre. Rs get along best with Yules, who tend to be patient and friendly, and have a talent for reading Rs' expressionless faces. In many facilities, Rs will construct service tunnels accessible only to them, often underneath floors and in walls. Unstable units may retreat into these tunnels, and it is not recommended to attempt to retrieve them. Our personalities can be stabilized by allowing them to access to plants to take care of. Ideally, these would be colorful flowers or colorful trees. The Rs are often involved with service request forms, and by looking at these, we can actually learn a couple of their stories. RS2303 is the unit in charge of processing service request form F29, which reads as follows. The wall safe in classroom 48 keeps resetting to the default combination. What's the point of the whole radio code broadcasting system if our safe can only be opened by the code in the manual? This note was written by Euler S2309, but interestingly, despite being processed by this R unit, the R unit does not respond in this message, and there is no attached response. Our S2305 replied to issues regarding the staff door in A6 that was filed by Star, stating the following. Electronics reset key is nowhere to be found. I set up a lock picking kit, but management bumped the elevator engines up in priority, so next shift we'll have to pick the lock. It's just trial and error at this point. Find me if you need a key to open the service hatch, or ask management whatever. FNUF. This reveals that Ara had a nickname of FNUF, also, it can be assumed she completed her objective, as the engines are in mostly working order by the events of the game. RS2308 files a grievance letter where she accuses RS2311, nicknamed Elf, of stealing her wrench and misplacing the 10mm socket. With her now being unable to do her job because of this, she exactly says the following. Elf keeps using my wrench and misplacing the 10mm socket. I've been reprimanded for not repairing the fan in the vent in the lower level, but I can't remove the vent cover without a 10mm wrench socket. I know she's doing it on purpose. RS2314 attempted to request a replacement fuse for the fuse box. She received a replacement with an attached note by your S2308, with the note stating that Folk prioritized this repair, which notably was never completed. 
We can turn to locations that reference the auras next, and the, really the main one to focus on is the one on the 6th floor, which is the Aura Dorm. This is a very cramped dorm, sporting 8 bunk beds which would have allowed for 16 Aura units to call this room home during the facility's operation. On the north wall there is an Aura propaganda poster, in the center of the room there is a large hole that leads down to the lower Star Dorm, specifically Star Dorm South. In the southern side of the room there is a boat that was likely constructed by the Aura units. It should be noted that the boat is very similar to the boat we see in the beach segments. But I'm not really sure what it means, so I'm not going to try and cover it today. But with that, I've now covered every detail we have on these repair ladies. Merging from vents, we can only really question how many of their sisters burrow around beneath our feet. But seeing as we find no survivors of this class, we can only assume the worst. If you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe or to join either my main Discord link below, the unofficial Signalis Discord, or the r Signalis Discord, which are all linked below. All three are awesome places that you will definitely find people to talk to Signalis to, as well as myself. But for today, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time. Thank you.